Hello, my name is Tom Treichler, and I'm the sales director at Chicago Communications LLC. Chicago Communications LLC, formerly Chicago Communications Service Inc., came into existence on October 1st, 2004 to provide sales, installation, and maintenance of communications equipment throughout the Chicago land area, much like our predecessor. Its principals, Cindy Glashagel, Kurt Hessler, Marilyn Hessler, and our business advisor, Ken Hessler, have over 80 years of experience in the radio communications industry, primarily through their many years of valued service with Motorola. We are a union company represented by knowledgeable, trained, and experienced individuals in sales, system design, technical support, installation, maintenance, and backup services. Chicago Communications LLC is a certified women's business enterprise, or WBE. We have our corporate office in Elmhurst, Illinois, and we also have a satellite office in Chicago, Illinois. I would like to take a moment to provide you with an overview of why narrowbanding is, of what narrowbanding is and why it is important to all radio users and license holders. Today, VHF and UHF frequency bands are extremely congested, making it difficult for licensees to expand their systems or implement new systems. Requiring licensees to convert their existing radio system to operate more efficiently, either on a narrower channel bandwidth or increased voice path on existing channels will allow creation of additional channels within the same spectrum. The FCC, or Federal Communications Commission, has mandated that all public safety and industrial business radio users and licensees convert existing 25 kilohertz radio systems to a minimum narrowband 12 and a half kilohertz efficiency technology by January 1st, 2013. The purpose of this mandate is to promote more efficient use of the VHF and UHF land mobile frequency bands. All radio users and license holders operating at 25 kilohertz efficiency in the VHF 150 to 174 megahertz band or UHF 421 to 512 must meet this 12.5 kilohertz efficiency by January 1, 2013. I must tell you that this is not optional. This is a mandate by the federal government. Failure to meet these deadlines imposed by the FCC could result in forfeiture of your license or potential monetary fine. Two of the current deadlines for narrowbanding are January 1st, 2011. Applications for new licenses or license modifications to expand existing coverage areas must specify at least 12.5 kHz efficiency for the license. The FCC will no longer accept applications for systems operating at 25 kHz efficiency. The second date, January 1st, 2013. Our all licensed users must convert to and operate in at least 12.5 kHz efficiency. Existing dual mode 25 and 12.5 kHz equipment must have the 25 kHz efficiency mode disabled via software. Equipment capable of operating only at 25 kHz efficiency must be replaced. So what can you do to prepare for the mandate deadline? With the deadline approaching rapidly, licensees who have not st started their narrowband migration should consider the following steps today. One, take an inventory of your radios to assess what equipment will need to be replaced. Two, develop budget requirements and explore funding options. Chicago Communications can assist in providing not only budgets to replace radio equipment, but to also reprogram existing equipment. Number three, Develop a conversion and implementation schedule. This will aid in completing the narrowbanding migration prior to the 2013 deadline. Although it may sound far off, by the time budgets have been established and equipment purchased, you still need to leave plenty of time for the installation of new equipment and reprogramming of existing capable equipment. This, multiplied by the vast number of licensed radio users across Chicago, will create a backlog of orders close to the deadline. We are suggesting this be coordinated and implemented well in advance of the deadline. Number four, for public safety users, coordinate your conversion with neighboring agencies to facilitate continued interoperability among neighboring towns. For the state of Illinois public safety agencies, the state has come out with their timelines to coordinate all statewide radio channels affecting both police and fire. Chicago Communications has these dates and can assist you in implementing a solution. Five, contact your preferred frequency coordinator for any needed license modification. And six, finally, contact Chicago Communications to assist you in every aspect along the way. 
There are many issues, questions, and concerns that we have encountered and worked through. We are prepared here at Chicago Communications to walk you through this implementation plan and help you along the way. Chicago Communications wants to make this a simple process. The time you devote to your business should be spent on what you do best. Allow Chicago Communications to do what we do best. Implement radio solutions tailored to your specific needs. Please contact our associates at 800-831-3223 Tell them that you're interested in finding out more about narrowbanding your radio system today. Thank you.